Welcome to a land that brings all your dreams to reality. Follow us on this quest through the beautiful mountains of Madagascar! We're not, we're not going to Madagascar, John. No Madagascar today? No. Just Virgin Islands? Yeah, the baths. We're going to the baths! <laughs> So we're going to the baths now, and uh, unfortunately we can't bring our phones, which is whatever, you know what I mean, but kind of feel a little bit naked without it. But I'm excited to go explore these rocks, caves, whatever we got going on. Um, but hopefully we can at least bring you, don't have the phone, you know, the camera. Interview on the fly, how you feeling right now, buddy? Feeling good. Yeah. The water's nice. Yeah. I'm not tired. I stress. I'm not cramping. I'm good. <laughs> so it was pretty good. Actually, it wasn't too bad. I didn't have to carry one of the 30 pound bags on my back. So it didn't make too bad. Thank you, it was Jono's first time swimming ever. Okay, I'm not making it back. I'm gonna ride this thing all the way back. I'm already tired from swimming. Well, uh, it's actually kind of crazy to be back here because. I came here about three and a half years ago to the baths to the British Virgin Islands with my parents and my brother. And my... So we came with my mom right after she was diagnosed with lung cancer. And this was like sort of the last trip that we took before, uh, before she started treatment. I was just looking last night at pictures from the last time I was here and my mom like looked amazing. Like you never, ever, ever would be able to tell that she had lung cancer stage four. Um, super in shape and just like full of life and so when we were here last it was uh, a really really cool moment a really scary time because we didn't know you know what was gonna happen and if my mom was gonna be all right but it's also just beautiful to like be together spend that time with family and uh, I'm really happy to be with a new kind of family today um, and definitely thinking a lot about my mom and I'm wearing this bracelet that says live like Susie so she's not physically here today, but I definitely feel like she is. There was a, a beautiful rainbow on the way over here, like all the way across the sky. And I was like, all right, this is, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is where I'm supposed to be. Oh my God, the trees, the only thing holding that rock up. Can you imagine that, that just, look at this. So that one branch, I think is the only thing holding that big rock up. Maddie, is, if he cracks it, he's done. No. Holy fuck, Maddie, don't crack it. No. Hey, Maddie. There you go, Maddie. Is there a way down, Maddie? No. On the other side? Oh, wait, there is. Okay. Is this it? There's a way down? <laughs> that Hansel's so hot right now. This is pretty standard for Maddie to be climbing on stuff. Uh, I can hang here for a bit, but just so you know, when we try to swim back to the boat, I'm probably going to perish. <laughs> no, you won't. So I will. I sat on this last time. Did you really? Yeah, my mom took a picture of me right here. Let's do it again. I'm fucking starved. I'm sweating. This big man doesn't do well in heat and without food. And right now, we're double timing it. You're wet. Exactly. Yes? Caves are fun. Caves are cool. I could uh, I could bathe here more often. It's true. I dig it. Oh, because it's, it's, it's called the bats. Ah, Guys, ah. it was the best show. Oh shit. Ah. Oh yeah, this is this is it right here. A bunch of rocks to climb on. This is all I want in life. Well, there's a few other things, but this is like one of them. <laughs> So, we discovered something really important this trip. Maddie is the 
nut best model on the island. You should see the way this dude can turn it on. He's actually down there doing a professional photo shoot with Adam right now. It's incredible. That might have thrown him off his game a little bit, but he's still got the skills. Maddie. Maddie! How much do you love rocks? Maddie, pretend you're the Colin Klein model! I love rocks! So close. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, I'm scared. So this isn't part of the trail. This was all just to see this. Is yeah. that is that what I just did all that for? I thought that me getting to the other side of that was gonna be lunch. So I'm still hungry. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> so no one really knows about this, but you see this hole right here. So you have to get a rock or a piece of coral in the hole, okay. and if it stays, your wish your wish comes true. Okay. You only get one shot? One shot. Oof. Let's go, this is my one shot. Oh, so close. So I'm going with a little bigger than average rock. It's happening. Oh, I know, I, I was oh, thinking about overhand, underhand. I had to give it a shot. Oh, oh my gosh, she's a beast. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> she's yeah. a beast. Well, the rest of the crew got separated. So we're trying to figure out who's leading the pack at this point. It's Adam, it's Party, and it's Drew. And Maddie. And Maddie. So we hope that Drew or Maddie is leading the party. Possibly Adam. I think our only hope is that John Party is not leading the party. Otherwise, we may never see them again. John Party is one of a kind. He is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, but kind of annoying. He's like a little brother who's really big. That's kind of like a good way to describe him. And I would not trust him with my life. Me and Kat, we get along fine. I feel like she's a very female version of me, which is like, fuck. So I have to deal with myself. I can't leave myself. The good thing is I can leave Kat. <laughs> So we just got to the top, we just found these guys. And of course, what are they doing? Exactly what we thought. Drinking right by the balcony with the view, of course. It really is the GTO move. I mean, this is a, a beautiful spot and exactly what I think the Thirst Lounge is all about. It's like getting out and exploring. Like there's a bit of escapism that can happen here for sure. And yet this is our home. We live in this beautiful place. Uh, and, and it's up to us to, to make our lives out of this environment, right? And so I think that the opportunity that exists in the Thirst Lounge is here because of the environment. There are very few people in the world who can jump on a yacht like we did today and come zip over to another island, sip on drinks and have good company and eat good food. I mean, we are so lucky and privileged to be here. Um, and, and I think we all uh, understand that, but we need to utilize that even more. Just got done eating and we are about to go snorkeling right now. It's gonna be pretty fun. Apparently there's a really nice snorkeling spot out here. So we're gonna go out and do that. Maybe get some cool GoPro footage of it as well. Party! We're eating termites. Termites, let's get some footage. Yeah, for footage. Yeah, yeah, I'm in there. I need one person. How do you eat it? Do it for we're footage. There. Gotta eat it it's right mouth. here. Protein. Yeah. Get in there, guys. I got it. Mmm. Yeah. Get oh, it. oh yeah. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Easy, right? Mm. I did it. Ah. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah. man. I did it. Their muscles are gonna get so big. Uh, the, the captain says he's gonna pick us up on the other side of the island. We are here now on the other side of the island. There is no sign of the boat. Yeah. We'll swim out and chill on the boat. Do we swim better or worse? Because I feel like I'm gonna take better. two, two arm more. swings and then uh, I'm cramping. Wow. Yeah. Alcohol makes you rise to the top. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> makes you less dense. I just I just went butt. So let's see how good you are. Oh here. Oh, I touched it. No, I hate it. Oh, Maddie, model. <laughs> Got it.
quite a good time, and I think that uh, we're all gonna be sleeping really well tonight. So there's this uh, like really high wall, 20 foot wall or something, where we are going to go snorkeling. I actually have no idea. I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet. I've been thinking about it for the last 10 minutes here, but I guess we're gonna see what happens here in a little bit. They're gonna force me to get in. I don't think I'm going in, but they don't know that yet. You do. Thirst Lounge is more successful the more we get out of the house. Uh, the stream is great, but right now we're mainly just a poker stream. Uh, and I know that Bill Perkins' vision for this, and mine as well, is that ultimately it's a lifestyle channel. It's more than just playing poker. Poker is an element, a piece of that, but it's also about getting out into the community. It's about traveling, it's about meeting people and engaging with people and trying new things and experimenting uh, with your life and, and, and opportunities. So, so for me, the more we get out, the more that we realize that vision of what the Thirst Lounge is meant to be.